In today's video, we're revisiting my binder with every ghost rare ever made. What's up guys, we're back with another Ghost Rare Binder update video. I did an original video on this where I announced that I was gonna collect every Ghost Rare in first edition and unlimited and all the other versions of the cards in their original set. So for like Rainbow Dragon on a Tactical Evolution it had a secret rare as well. Then when you get into some of the Zexal sets, they'd have ulties, they'd have also a secret, maybe an ultra as well. So there was like three different versions. So I'd be collecting, if there's three different versions, I'd have three first eds, three unlimited. So today I'm continuing this goal. I mentioned it many times since then. Like if we pull something that I think I need, I sometimes reference the binder and sometimes even show myself putting something in the binder. I did that the other day with the Star Eater, so I figured, you know what, let's do an update. I actually watched back the old video and saw we've made a lot of progress since last time. But before we get into the goodies, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Ghost Rare Star Eater because I did upgrade mine from Light Play to Near Mint, so you guys get the Light Play, the old one. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know what you think of the binder. Do you have any collection goals that you're attempting to uh, pursue at the moment? If you do, let me know in the comments so I can read about them and, uh, you know, see what you guys are doing. All right, guys, you guys know binder collections are really hard to show. So I'm going to do my best. So our first page, it used to be on the first page here, but then I realized if I'm going to do ghost rare and secret rare with unlimited first ed, I need four slots, not three. So I'm going to have to have another page. And then it's going to get weird with the chaos Neos because it also has a misprint ghost rare as well. So there's a lot of different things. You guys can see me in the reflection. Hey, how's it going guys? At the top, we didn't originally have a rainbow dragon, but we did get a light play unlimited. It's actually a pretty nice light play. We got a near mint rainbow dragon secret rare. So we've completed those two. Well, we need the near Med. Then we need a first ed and a first ed secret and ghost. So we need both of those. Then for this one, we really only have the near mint chaos Neos. We don't have like the ghost rare. I do have the ghost rare misprint because uh, that's in a BGS slab though. So it's not going to be in the binder. This is near mint. So I can really take that near mint off. I really just don't need that to mark because I really try to mark only non near mint. Then we go down to the rainbow Neos, which I think we already had these. This is a heavy play uh, first edition. Haven't gotten a better copy since. Same with this secret rare. There's also the unlimited, which I believe we do have a near mint. I think I acquired that one over the past year. We have an unlimited limited near mint here. This is just a bonus copy. So we really have completed these two. We just need the first sets of these, but Phantom Darkness is so crazy hard to find. It's going to be a difficult one, but if we do, it's going to be great. I want to take a look at at least one ghost rare from every like two pages here. So uh, we'll first take a look at the rainbow Neos. It's pretty well in the light. I mean, it's not as good as like the Stardust and stuff. I feel like they improved it as they went, but then it kind of got worse. We'll kind of see how the ghost rare foiling did because we're going to go, you know, year by year basically here. So rainbow Neos looks really nice. That's the unlimited. So very, very cool stuff for the binder so far. All right, our next page is one of the coolest pages because it has the le uh, Light of Destruction, not Legacy of Darkness, Light of Destruction, Ghost Rare, which is the honest. We don't have first eds yet. We do have the Unlimited Light Play, and then we have a Near Mint Secret Rare. So the, this is before they added in like an Ultimate Rare as well, which is coming in these sets, but in here it was just Secret Rare and Ghost Rare for the original few in the GX era. So we obviously don't have first eds yet. Then we go to, of course, the Stardust. We have a Near Mint Ghost Rare there, which is pretty nice. We have the Light Play Ultimate Rare. I thought I had a Near Mint one of those. I don't know. I might have sold it actually i probably should have put it in my binder and realized that i uh, don't have the ghost share first ed don't have the ultras we need the ultras first ed as well so we got to find those then the black rose i used to have the uh, look you can see me in the reflection here we used to have the first eds i should be wearing this shiny uh shiny sweatshirt you guys can see it shout out to jarvis ghost rare first edition i had the psa 10 but i sold it don't have the ultra right here we have the ghost rare black rose i don't remember if this is near mint or not i pulled it out of one of my decks i think it actually is near mint then we have the ultimate rare of course and then missing the ultra so the ultras are some, sometimes the weirdest ones to find and the reason the ultras are so hard to find is because not necessarily because they're hard but because you forget you need them so i like will sell them or like you know they just you're not really looking for them as hard like if you see a ghost you're like do i need that ghost ulti do i need that ulti you don't really think that as much with the ultimate wow or the uh ultra i should say the black rose one of the best looking ghost rares ever made i mean it looks absolutely amazing check it out we got that background 3d texture going on really good i mean it's going to be hard to beat this one let me know in the comments the best foil you see out of all the ghosts we look at very very nice Pull this out of a deck just for the video uh, because I needed to put it in the spot where it belongs, but really nice. It's hard to beat the Black Rose. All right, on this next page, now you see some serious progress. So we have, I think we had a lot of these before, we didn't have all of them. So we have Light Play, Red Dragon, Archfiend here. So we need to replace that one. Then we have the Ulti, that's near mint. We have the Ultra, that's near mint. The Unlimited, that's near mint. We have a Light Play Ulti. So we're almost at everything. We need the Ultra over there. I have the Red Dragon, Archfiend. That doesn't actually belong in the binder, but I figured it really just fits here, but it doesn't actually because it's not in the same set. Uh, it's also not even the assault mode it's a different version then we have the power tool which i remember having this last year or at least the last time we did this i watched this video back so we have this near mint we have a near mint here we need the ultra obviously because we have an extra ultimate i have a lot of ultis of this card and a lot of ghosts so we have unlimited ghosts that one's near mint as well 
another near mint ulti unlim, and then another ghost unlim. So we have doubles of a lot, double ultis, double ghosts. You know, there's a lot of good stuff in the power tool, but we have a lot of near mint cards, which is great. Then we have, I have added this. This ancient fairy dragon came from Collecticon when Yugi Mo and I picked it up. If you guys remember that video, Charlotte it was in, oh, back in like April or May or June of last year. I don't remember. Uh, check that video out if you guys missed it. It was really fun. We picked this up near mint. I think it has some weird corners, but other than that, it's really, really nice. Near mint first dead. We need a near mint ulti. Don't have the ultra. Unlim, we have it. We have the ultimate and we have the ancient fairy dragon unlim ultra as well so we need this is the only card we actually don't have one well that's actually not true some of the ultras i just have extras in there but really nice row here i mean just a lot of good stuff because this is such a nice one we'll show a couple so we have the ancient fairy dragon which i agree or i agree i think <laughs> i agree with myself ruxin good job ruxin i agree uh that this is one of the best looking ones i think this one is up there with the black rose it has kind of the 3d going on with it it has beautiful coloring like it looks amazing we once graded a psa 10 on one of these we sold it unfortunately but beautiful i mean not unfortunately because like it helped us buy other stuff but you know it was like you know it'd be cool if we still had that power tool dragon also a really good one they just in this era they were crushing the ghost rares they did a really good job power tool looks amazing as well you can see some 3d texturing going on make sure to be thinking about your favorite ghost share because there's a lot of good ones i'm gonna look at the unlimbs see if there's any difference here it seems like it's pretty similar so wait are these shifted time out these are definitely shifted. Look at this. So this, look at the, the little loop down here. It is farther away on the unlimited. Okay, the foil seems pretty similar, but this is moved. So that happens a lot in like Gold Series Haunted Mine, but I didn't realize it happened with other ones. I guess maybe it's just the unlimited print was a little bit, you know, shifted, but that is interesting. Something I've never noticed. It feels like it's also shifted this way compared to this one. I don't know. Let me know if you guys know any info about that. Let me know in the comments. All right, our next page has the uh, Majestic Star Dragon. No first dead ghost. We do we wait we graded a first set ultimate i should have put that in the binder to be honest didn't it get like a nine or something like that at bgs we graded it we pulled it it was an awesome pull that needs to be in the binder i need to add that uh, i don't think i sold that one i think i still have it we have unlimited ghost unlimited so those look good we need the ultra over there then we have the majestic red dragon which is a pretty card missing the ultra of course we have the unlimited ultra i think we might have pulled that one and then we're missing the ultimate right here the ghost is there the black i remember we had all these black wing dragons we had the uh we got these out of a collection like a long time ago so these are all near mint we need this Wait, oh, that is an ultra rare. Okay, yeah, we did have that. We did not have this unlimited. I remember that. So we've acquired this unlimited ghost rare since then. I mean, this is a really awesome card. So now I want to do a little first ed unlimited when we can. So there's the first ed. This one is a little blurry. Like there's like a lot of it is like background blur and not as much in the front. So I don't like it as much as some of the other ones. I think it still looks pretty good, but like you can really see the head and the wings and that's it. Like the legs feel like they're kind of blurry. And on honestly, he has creepy legs. Like He looks like an insect or something. Very weird. I don't really love his look. Then we have the unlimited. Is this seem any different let's see honestly i feel like the legs are more easy to see here wait are they shifted at all looks like they're about it looks like they're about the same yeah they looks like they're the same here for the black wing dragon both look pretty good i'd say it's a pretty solid looking ghost not the worst one for sure okay but eyeballing it from the binder i think that majestic red is different look how okay look at the distance here from the border on the little tail thing there and then look here this one's about to touch the border this one's not so these have definitely got some shift going on to them as well majestic red dragon these look good i really like the look of these i love how how the colors really shine on these okay interesting so it looks like some of them have a shift going with unlimited first ed interesting development we've had here but we have the draco quest that's the all of these need to be replaced so mod play light play light play this is uh i think we did we pull this no we definitely didn't pull that i got in a collection that's near mint that's the only one that actually is near mint there's light play and a light play so at least we have the ultra there this one we don't have the ultra but still nice stuff shooting star we've had this for a long time out of a collection all these are near mint or these two are near mint this one's mod play i think we acquired that one these two came out of the collection and then the odins still need to be replaced both light play we did pull didn't we pull a ghost on i guess we that was for somebody else that's what it was so we don't have one of those we have two ultis here so we need the ultra and the ghost for this one so we're missing quite a bit on this page we have a lot filled in but a lot of it is not in the right condition back to our ghost rare shift search i feel like this one might be a little shifted too so look at this guy's little ankle going on there and then you go to here it feels like this one is farther down so it looks like this one's going down and this one you can see a little bit more going on there so those are a little bit different the draco quest uh not the biggest ghost rare ever probably one of the least you know even known nobody cares about this one really but it looks pretty nice to be honest and of course we're not going to go without looking at the shooting star which honestly isn't the best looking one i mean it kind of shines like the new gray ghost from the past ones where like well on one part it's shiny and then the rest it's kind of gray you can't really like hit the whole thing if you know what i mean so like let me compare this so like notice on this one the entire thing is colored like all the shine is colored there this one it looks more like the new foiling where it's kind of like it's kind of shiny there but then it's kind of gray 
it doesn't hit the same i'm not gonna lie the shooting star dragon i never noticed this one does not hit as well so that's pretty interesting a friend of mine rj you guys know him from cmo series he's big into like which ghosts are nice and which are not so i've been thinking about and looking at those a lot more and uh yeah you can really tell i didn't know shooting star like that old of a card is actually kind of not that pretty i still think it looks nice but compared to the old ones it's like it's not even close so this one the junk berserker looks like it has a star strike blast foiling as well so star strike blast where we started cheaping out on the foiling maybe it is wait let me look at that i'm gonna have to look at that some of these other ones okay no it must not have been because this galaxy eyes looks amazing too i'm gonna have to check that out so what we're missing here is unlimbs of these i need to upgrade this to near mint this one we need to get a near mint copy we need an ultra we need a near mint ultra here near mint ghost for leviathan dragon we have the galaxy eyes photon dragons beautiful all those look good i actually have i don't even know if there's an unlimited uh photon shockwave i think there is oh either of course there is because that's the one yeah there is i know there is because that's where we pulled one out of the uh walmart thing i don't have any of them i just have extra ghosts here so we're missing all of those there so we got to grab those so now i'm interested to see like when they started cheaping out so this one feels like more like the star strike blast foiling actually this one looks a little better but it's got more gray going on you really don't want the gray in the ghost show you're really looking for the shiny colors that's what i like about it at least then the leviathan the leviathan looks it looks pretty good, but it does have some gray going on there. It feels like it's getting a, back to a little bit, but I think the Photon Shockwave is really nice. Look at the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. This feels like an old school one, so it looks like they went back to the old school foiling here. This looks incredible. Like, this looks a lot better than those other two and the Star Strike Blast, so I don't know what's going on. It was like they're going, I guess they were going back and forth with people, like their factories and stuff and like different quality control and stuff. All right, going on to the next one. This is where we get to kind of the weird ones. We get to like Utopia Ray. It's like, this is a ghost rare? Yeah, it is a ghost rare. So we need to upgrade all the conditions here. At least we have the versions, right? We don't have any on limbs. I did, I guess they made unlimited orcs. I think they did. This was back when basically everything got an unlimb. Then we got near mint galaxy ass photon drag. I feel like we added that one. No ultimate. We do have the first dead ultra in near mint. No ghost here. These appear to be in the right condition as well. So four out of six right condition, which is really nice. We just need those two. Then the Excalibur. Caliber. I thought we had pulled this, but I guess it was all on limbs that we pulled. This is a light place. So we need that. We need the ultimate rare. The ultra isn't. I think we've pulled this since then. We've pulled multiple of this card. There's two of them right there. So we're missing the ulti and then a nice near mint ultra rare there as well. So let's just take a run through these ghosts. So this one looks more like the Star Strike Blast kind of cheap out foiling. It's not terrible. Like you can kind of get most of it real like that. So it's a little bit better, I think, but not too horrible. Then this one with Galactic Overlord. This one feels similar. So it's like these are pretty nice, but they're not like like blowing you out of the water and you're like wow this is like the best looking card ever but it also looks pretty good so i won't like hate on that too much and then we have the heroic champion excalibur this one actually hits pretty well i don't know what it is like one every few has a really nice one even when they kind of have some cheap ones around them but this one looks pretty good even though it's not a really highly desired one but it's really cool card all right now we're on to the shark drake i don't think we had any of these before so we've added the number 32 shark drake this is from abyss rising we don't have the ghost but we do have the ulti mod play ultra we're gonna have to replace that we need another unlimited ghost you have the unlim ulti which i think we pulled and then new ultra but that's still nice to add those this one we have the number 92 hardest dragon we didn't have before but i think we did have it because it was in the blue eyes deck we have light play unlimited which is nice i think we got that in a collection we have an ultimate that we may or may not have pulled i think we did pull that one and then we go to the number 107 which we did pull we somehow never pulled an ultimate or ultra or at least i didn't keep them that near mint i think is from a collection and then we're missing the unlimbs as well so we got to grab those we have the unlim ultra at least I, if i remember correctly this one looks good yeah the whoa this one looks crazy and this one definitely has some shift from the unlimb i'm not gonna pull it out but i can tell just looking at it this one shifted that way pretty interesting how that works but this card has some serious serious pop to it that looks amazing then we have the number 107 galaxy has tachyon this one also looks pretty nice it has like an aura around it it looks pretty 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 okay pretty 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 <laughs> very pretty that's what i'm trying to say okay it looks great then we get to the page of star eater so i think this is the first set where they had secret ultimate ghost so instead of ultra ultimate ghost of secret ultimate ghost so secret rare started your first day we need the first ads here we have the ghost which we just pulled the other day. By the way, you can't even like tell that that's a ghost. That's amazing. Look at that. That's really cool looking. It just looks a little bit shiny. We have the ulti and the secret rare that we also pulled the other day as well. That was a pretty awesome pull. So we filled out four out of six there. We need the first eds. Then we have the divine knife fell grand. I really like no ultimate rare there. We, need, we have the first ed secret. We have the ghost, two ghosts actually. That's a first ed light place. So we're missing ulti and ultra in the unlimbs. Mobius that's near mint okay i must have gotten that in a collection we're missing the other first eds need to replace this unlimited light play we need the ulti we pulled the secret rare at some point 
that was actually a surprising pull that I needed. So that was cool. So for some of these ghosts, it looks like, yeah, the Felgrand hits pretty well. Like it's not the, as good as some of the other ones, but I'd say it's an upper tier. I should like make a tier list of how these look. Like when I get all of them, we like look at the foil and say tier list of the best ghost foiling. That would be pretty cool, actually. So this would be up there probably like A or B tier. That looks really good. Then we have a Mobius the Mega Monarch. Surprisingly, this one looks amazing. I remember when I got this and I was like, why does this card look so good? I remember this apparently used to be, I wasn't around then, but uh, House of Champs and people have said like this was like a $3 ghost. Like it was super cheap, but man, it looks really, really nice. All right, now we have the Bujinki Amaterasu that has the mod play. We got to replace that. These ulti and secret. So we got both those. Wait, this is unlimited. Why is that there? I guess I have double unlimb, so I got to replace that. So we have an unlimb ghost here. That's near mint. And then we have another ulti and a secret. So we've got the unlimbs covered and this one, but we need the first eds here. Then we have the Stellar Knight Deltaros, one you don't even remember exists. It's in Duelist Alliance too, which is a pretty good card, or a good set, I should say. Mod play first, got to replace that. We got the ulti that looks good and then nothing else. So we got a lot of work to do with the unlimbs there. Then we have the Dark Rebellion AC Dragon, another one you could forget about, but it's a pretty nice card. Foiling doesn't look too good there. We're going to check that in a second. Ultimate Rare looks good. Need the ultra and then we just have the mod play unlimb so we got to replace that and get the other two so first we have bujingi amaterasu so this one looks it's okay it's like middle ground you know it's not great it's but it's not really bad i would say it's not like ugly but it looks pretty okay so yeah it's okay then we have Satellar Knight Delteros that one looks a little bit better I would say this also is mod play so it has some scratches on it but the foiling's hitting pretty decent on that one and then we have the Dark Rebellion Disease Dragon this one oh yeah that one has like the aura around it I really like around the artwork so it kind of hits better on the monster that one looks pretty nice then we have the Malakota our first ghost shard that we ever pulled was this so this is the first ad we need the ultimate rare on or the first ad then we need to replace this on limb and get the others then we have the clear wing synchro dragon which we also pulled this one we need the ulti there and then we need to place that one and get an unlimited ulti then of course red eyes flare metal dragon i had this one in uh the one thousand dollar purchase that's the one we got it was actually near mint from tcg player we got the ultis we need to replace this unlim and then we have all so all we need is the unlim ghost share and near mint we're good to go there so the malakota is sort of a newer ghost share. you can see it like kind of fades off it's only kind of shiny so this is definitely one of the worst foils and it's not really a desired one anyway so it's not like that big of a deal you know then we got our clear wing this one definitely hits better than that one so it's like they were using different factories and one factory would make bad ones the other one would make pretty good ones so this one hits pretty well it's not like the perfect one but it's definitely really good then we have that red eyes flare metal dragon always been one of my favorites this is definitely shifted from my unlimited it's definitely up a little bit but this one hits amazing it's also red eyes so this is just an amazing card so i love love this one all right we are into the last core set which is dimension of chaos which you guys know about we have pulled many many scarlet red dragon arch fiends we got the ulti the secret of course we pulled all those then we have the uh, no unlimited. I don't even know if this had unlimited. I think it did, but we got to get to work on those. Then we have gold series on in mind, which is of course awesome. We've pulled many, many cards out of those. So we got the blue eyes and stuff. Then we've got some of the newer ones like the winged dragon of raw. We got the blue eyes alternative, all the ghosts from the past one stuff, which uh, are we missing one? We're missing the firewall. I didn't realize that. Apparently I don't have the firewall. So I got to add the firewall to this and then we'll have everything. All right, so this will be interesting because there's a lot of different eras here. So we have, this is the last ghost rare in a core set. This one is, it's honestly, I hate to say it, but it's not a perfect ghost rare. It looks okay, but it's got some of that gray action going on, which is not awesome. Then you got the gold tiers on mine. This one is beautiful. The, the Gohan and mine ghost rares look really, really good. They crush that. I mean, they, they look amazing. I mean, look how shiny that card is. Beautiful blue eyes. Then of course, Winged Dragon Rock. So this one is where they start getting pretty bad. So like the Winged Dragon Raw is cool, but unfortunately, the, I mean, if you compare it to the older foil, it's nothing. Like if you, if you put it side by side, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to hurt the Winged Dragon Raw's feelings, but it's just not as good. I mean, you can get some nice foil shine to it like that, but it's only C, you know, it kind of goes in a line, you know, ooh, shiny, but then like the rest is not as nice. So let me know what you guys think about this newer foiling. Do you like, like it, dislike it? Let me know. I personally like the old foiling better, or at least not all the old foiling as we've seen because some of the old foiling wasn't as good. So there's just specific ones i would like to do a tier list on this i think it'd be fun and then the blue eyes alternative from ghost of the past is very similar to the winged dragon of raw so they've done it so it's like where exactly the light hits it's beautiful but the rest of it is kind of lacking it still looks great i mean i still like the ghost rare so one of my favorite rarities but when you put it next to the stardust the black rose i'm like man i just wish they were like that all right our last page is of course ghost from the past too so well or we have a whatever this is called synchro storm and then we have ghost from the past two all of those and then we have 
the silent honor arc so the foiling is pretty similar on these it doesn't change much from like the newer ones they're all kind of like that they got a little bit of shine to them they're not too bad not too good some people have a problem with them i, I still like them i think they look really nice ghost is one of my favorite rarities but they definitely could be better i would say then i have a bunch of extras so we got some extra stuff from ghost from the past too yada yada and then we have that's about it so that's the whole binder for you guys all right guys hope you enjoyed the update video i'm getting close to finishing i mean there's a long way to go but i've made a lot of progress if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content let me know in the comments what you think shout out to tone Fo show daxter jt cho puffets of doom ernesto deanda dizzy hoppus choice 333 my cycle james jance tcg trusted cards america deutzer supreme sage 21 and then a tie show ian musa junior Barty, mimic gecko and thomas mcclain thank you guys for supporting the channel i'll see you guys in the next one peace